welcome 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 back to my channel hit that like button and subscribe welcome we to bring you today some little seafood recipe and i'm gonna bring you my cook one for display lily yay give it up lily that's funny he gonna ex he gonna explain what he gonna do give it up for some lily. all right today we're gonna be cooking a seafood rice dish it's going to consist of shrimp codfish and crab meat um some of the great ingredients i have today for you is i have these nice size u10 shrimp and also have some 1620s you can see the difference in them uh the u10s are pretty big and the 1620s are a little smaller they're probably a little bit bigger than the 1620 um but i'll show you how i'm going to prep those i have a whole nice bowl full of those here um these are tiger the large ones are tiger shrimp and the other ones are regular just uh, good shrimp um we also have a fillet of codfish which i'm going to be using today and also some blue crab um crab meat some of the other ingredients i'm going to be putting in there today is going to be mushrooms bell peppers onions minced garlic I'm also going to be using uh, stir-fried rice um, because that's the rice I'm going to use to make this dish and bring it all together. Um, some of the ingredients I'm going to be using on that is going to be Obey seasoning, onion powder, black pepper, and some Creole seasoning. Also, for vegetable, we're going to have broccoli rabe. Um, I don't know if you ever had broccoli rabe before, but it's a leafy and broccoli spread vegetable. Um, sauteed is really good. You gotta blanch it first and then saute it. I'm gonna show you all about how I'm gonna do all that as soon as I get some of this prep together. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be peeling these shrimp. And when I get done peeling the shrimp, I'm gonna um, show you what I'm gonna do from that point on. But I'm gonna take it one step at a time. I'm gonna go ahead on and peel the shrimp and then I'll come right back and show you how I'm going to do this. Alright, one, one thing I, I want to show you guys is when you clean in a shrimp, um, you have to cut straight down the back of the shrimp and then you scrape the vein out of the shrimp. See what I'm saying? It's just like that. You cut straight down the back and then you just scrape the vein out from both sides of the shrimp. Now, I've already cleaned uh, the, tiger, the, um, the tiger shrimp, which you see they're already clean, and also cleaned the uh, U10s. They've done all the same, I mean, I mean uh, 16, 20. They're all done the same way. You cut straight down the back, you pull the vein out, and it's done. Um, I also de took all the shells off of them because I'm going to be dicing them up. Not all of them. I'm going to have some for the dish, but I'm going to dice some of them up to go into the dish. And these are the shells from both of them. Um, when you're making rice, most times people use water, but water is not good all the time. You, if you're making chicken rice, you want to use um, chicken broth, beef, you use beef. But because this is a seafood rice, I'm going to take the shells because that's where all the flavor is. I got a half a pot of water here. I'm going to take all the shells and put them in the pan, I'm in the pot with the water. I'm gonna hit that with like a small bit of Obey and a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna bring that to a boil. The shells are gonna turn red, but all the flavor is gonna come out of there. Then I'm gonna drain all the shells out and I'm gonna use that broth to make the rice. Okay. All right, now I'm going to start getting most of this prep ready. As you can see, I got the, um, the uh, shrimp um, shells in, a, in about two and a half cups of water. Um, I sprinkled it with a tiny little bit of Obey and a little bit of pepper, and I got it on slow cook. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you can see the shells are beginning to turn red. Um, I'm going to let that just go ahead and steam slowly. As those continue to make that broth, and when they get done, I'm going to strain that of those shells so that I can use that broth to make my rice. Um, 
Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse off a few of these mushroom caps because I'm going to start doing my prep here. Um, got a nice, uh, not about eight or nine of those, maybe ten mushroom caps. Rinse them off right quick. Also rinse off that bell pepper again. Once the once, but I'm going to rinse it again so you can see that I rinsed it. Okay, and we got that pepper there rinsed off. We got these mushroom caps here. I'm going to go ahead on and um, dice these mushroom caps down and set them off to the side into a bowl. And then I'm going to prep the onions and peppers the same way. I'm going to dice everything up because everything's going to get sauteed and then blend it back into the rice when I get ready to put this rice dish together. So um, first thing I'm going to do is get these uh, mushroom caps done. They don't have to be pretty, just have to be diced. They just have to be, well, these here are just getting sliced up. Okay, mushrooms are nice and chopped. Let me go ahead and transfer them into a bowl. I'll set them off to the side. I'm going to do my onion. Cut that onion up, cut it in half once. I'm going to score it down, but not all the way through. Then I'm going to cut them in, but not all the way through, so that the back will hold on a little bit. And then I'm just going to cut them down where they'll come out to their own dices. One half of that onion should be plenty for this dish. So I got that there. Then I'm gonna get this mushroom ready. I mean this um, bell pepper together. I'm going to use this whole bell pepper instead of half.
can go back in and grab some of the pieces that don't get all the way cut. There you have it. The onions, your peppers, your mushrooms, all ready to roll. Um, the shrimp shells are, are, are still steaming up nice and good. I'm still letting the steam slow so you can get all that flavor out of there. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the meat ready. I mean the um, the fish ready. Because that's also a, a good component that's going into this dish. Um, it's going to go in along with the shrimp. It's just a nice filet of cod. It's already been cleaned. Um, the bone, everything. It's just a nice fresh piece. And I'm just going to take this and cut this up. And get this ready for the dish. little small chunks like little small cubes of them because when they cook up they're going to be like little small cubes inside the rice they don't have to be too small they don't have to be too big fish is a pretty um, a nice fish that stays together when you cook it. That's why I prefer to use cod. Okay. Move that cod over. I'll take some of these small uh, 1620s out of here. Turn it to the bowl. chop some of this uh, these small shrimp up. This is what's going to go into the rice. And the reason I'm using two size shrimp is because these are actually going to be incorporated into the rice, um, just like the fish and all the rest of the products, but um, and the crab meat. But I'm using the U10s sort of give it some other structure when you look at it from the outside. So I'm going to put these right in here because those can get cooked together. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this here, I'm cutting board back up. that off to the side and I'm going to clean that again later but I'm just getting it clean so it can be out of my way for right now but I'll do the final clean when I clean my kitchen okay now okay now I'm going to go ahead and crank this up because I had it on low so I'm going to crank it up just a little bit more so that it can really get the boil because now I'm going to get into the fast pace putting this dish together. Um, what we're going to use here is going to be a nice deep dish saute pan. I'm going to switch burners with this one, put that guy back there so I can finish doing this thing. I'm going to bring that one forward. 
We're going to go with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to hit that pan with a little bit of that. You can use butter or whatever your taste is, whatever your choice is. Just about two tablespoons. And um, I'm going to go ahead on and start with this here um, stir fried rice. Electric burners, they always got to burn things off. Okay. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And then we're going to get this rice to start uh, browning. Because I don't know if you cook rice aroni or any kind of these box rices. They have these little long, uh, little thin things like pasta that browns up. And you brown them right before you add your liquids to your rice. So I'm going to go ahead and let that get going. Put that back there to get that boil a little bit more. Take a bowl here and a strainer, another strainer, and now that now that now that these uh, shrimp shells have cooked all the way up, and you can see that they're nice and red. You know, you can see they're turned to orange. So now I'm just going to take the broth off of that, strain it through a strainer into another bowl, because uh, the rice is going to require two cups of liquid. So instead of using water, I'm going to use that seafood broth that I just made there. There you have it, seafood broth off the shrimp. And I'm going to get my cup here because you're going to need at least two cups of that broth when you go to put this together. And I'm already there. see they're starting to brown the little uh, pasta looking things are starting to brown a little bit in there doesn't take long it cook really fast Now I'm going to incorporate two cups of broth into that. In fact, I'm going to do one and a little one and three quarters, a little less than two cups. Bring that back up to a boil. And I'll put a lid on that, reduce the heat, and let that um, slowly go down. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to bring the rest of this to the forefront. I'm going to reduce the heat. In fact, I'm going to just put it on a lower burner, take it to the back, and cover that with a lid. Uh, that's that's on a slow um, that's on a slow simmer, so that rice can go ahead on and um, go ahead on and dry out. Then I'm going to go with another pan. How you doing, honey? You making it work? It's working. Then I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start sauteing off the vegetables. Um, once again, I'm going to go with a little bit of EVO. 
You can do butter if you like, but I'm going to go EVO on this one. Extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, extra virgin olive oil. You see that? EVO. I'm going to just put like a tablespoon and a quarter in there. And I'm also going to hit that with like a half a tablespoon of butter. Butter, margarine, whatever works for you. little bit of butter you can see how that turns into a nice little yellow film there that's pretty good heat up a little bit I'm gonna drop a little bit of garlic on that we have a minced garlic open so I'm gonna go back to the one that's open I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of um, minced garlic in there going to just go ahead on and get those peppers and onions mostly on top first. It'll take a few more minutes more than the mushroom, mushrooms will weather down a lot quicker. And there we go. And we're going to hit that with a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of this uh, pink Himalaya salt. That's enough. I'm going to tap that with a little bit of Creole seasoning. And a little bit of Obey. And with a little pinch of onion powder. Those vegetables are starting to weather down. Um, I'm going to get my meats ready to go. Um, like I told you, I was going to do some blue blue crab. I got the um, I got the shrimp, and I got the um, uh, the fish, the codfish already diced up and ready to roll. We're going to go that as soon as that's starting to sweather down. I'm going to get the crab meat ready to roll, and um, I'm going to show you how to put this this together. Sweating a little bit, starting to get a little glassy. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the mushrooms in there. And get everybody in the pool. Also now, because that's um, fried rice, we have a fried rice season pack, which consists of the same thing: the Creole seasoning, um, a little bit of cumin, parsley. A few little, little things in there, and I'm going to hit that with that rice as it's almost starting to dry out. A lot of people like to put it in there before, but no, I like to get the rice starting to dry, getting on his mission. And then I'll put it in there. As you can see, it's still a little moist doing this thing. It's going to take a few minutes to dry out because it has to uh, sweat all of that, all that broth out of there. Got that going, doing what it's doing. Hit him both the National Guards in there, didn't he? Okay. 
Okay. All right, now that we have all that flowing, the next thing I'm gonna do is prep for this broccoli rub. One thing I am gonna to need to do is get some broth, some water on the stove. I think I'm gonna go ahead on with this pot here. Scour it out right fast. About a little close, close, close to a half a pot of water, a little less than a half a pot. Get that on there on high. I'm going to go ahead and salt that water a little bit. Because anytime you're blasting anything, you get a little salt in the water. Vegetables are getting nice and weathered down to where I need them to be. I'm going to let that finish flowing. Thing wiped up here, things out of the way. And unwrap the onion. It's pretty much almost done. It's got a little bit ways to go, but before I let it go all the way down, I'm going to go ahead and transfer these over here, the vegetables into that rice. As you can see, the vegetables and the rice are all into one situation here. Put it back on the fish, re-steaming, bring that on, and I'm not going to use EBO, I'm going to use butter on this one because seafood just happens to go good with butter. So I'm going to go with uh, a couple tablespoons of butter on that. Drop the, the shrimp and the codfish right into there. What happened to the um, to the, to the, the U10 big shrimp? I'm gonna do them last and show you how I finish this dish off. Got that there. I'm gonna hit that with a little bit of that, just a little pinch of that salt because I'm gonna use Obey. Obey has its own salt already. So I'm just gonna hit that a little sprinkle of Obey. Hit that a little onion. Black pepper. And a pinch of that Creo. Bada boom, bada bang.
notice how fast that, that, that fish and those shrimp cook. As you can see, they cook rather quickly. So add that to the rice. It's coming together. Everything will finish cooking as this rice continues to steam down. I'm going to add that uh, shrimp and cod to the rice and peppers and onions and mushrooms. Sense. I'm going to go ahead and mix that and let you see what I'm doing here. As the rice, the fish, the shrimp, everything going. I'll hit the crab meat at the very end because the crab meat is already cooked. All it has to do is get in here and finish heating up along with this rest of this meal. And as you can see, it's already starting to look delicious. Get that there, get that finished steaming. Meanwhile here, I'm gonna hit that with that little bit of butter and sauce that was left with a little tiny bit of EVO. I'm gonna go back in with the big prawn. A U10. U10s. I'm also going to season the U10s as I did the other ones. A little bit of obey. Black pepper. Onion. Power. To that Creole. I'm not going to use the salt on this. We're not going to use the pink salt on this. These here are, are pretty tasty. You don't want to really overdo these at all. I got the water boiling with the, um, for the broccoli rob. What I'm going to do here, flip the clipboard, flip the cutting board over. I'm going to take the um, broccoli rob, pretty much from the stem around the back end, and I'm going to break that down right about there. Right there. Disregard all that. You don't need any of it. All this is the broccoli rob. Um, I can peel more of the stems off and just make sure I get down into the leaves and get rid of the discarded leaves. It's already been washed. I just want to get rid of some of the big leaves out of here. I mean the big stems. Make sure we don't have any of them going into the pot. Boom, that's what it looks like. Take those, I'm gonna put them right in the pot right there.
bring some of this stuff up here. I'm ready to show you how I'm going to bring this this together. I just took a little bit of that um, shrimp water, that shrimp broth that I had from earlier, and I threw a little bit into them prawns, into those uh, tiger shrimp, tiger shrimp. I'm making. Okay, now these prawns are done. I'm going to go ahead on and pull these off the heat. And that little bit of salted water just to make them turn green. And I can see they're turning green. Beginning to look good there. It's withered down. I'm going to go ahead and shut that heat off of there. I'm also going to shut the heat off the shrimp. And I'm going to take these shrimp out of the, out of here. Broth, so I'm not going to toss it right now. I may use it for something else. Another date. The uh, shrimp are done, as you can see. They're looking good. Go ahead and scour this pan out right quick. Dry that pan off, put that back on the heat. Put that stove off, make sure that's nice and good there. Put that pan back on the heat. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, bring this dish together. Pull it off the heat for a moment. Let's just see what it looks like. As you can see, the rice is fully cooked, the shrimp, the cod. And everything, is the mushrooms, peppers, onions, everything in there is good. And now I'm going to go ahead and add that can of crab meat to it. Whoa, that's a lot of crab meat. Bang! And I'm going to just go ahead on and mix that crab meat in there. You don't need to add no more seasoning. Everything's already in there. Nice big chunks of crab, nice big chunks of shrimp, nice chunks of fish. Look at that. Wow. Bring that back to the low burn. It's on super, super low because it's just heating up the crab meat now. And while that's doing that, I'm going to get some fresh garlic again. A little bit of more minced garlic. Let me peep in and see what my baby doing. Are you making out, boo? I'm making. <laughs> Let me check out one of these shrimps. And we're going to take this here. Mm. And throw that over that side of it. And let me get this. Let me, can I get a strainer? I'm going to take this here and strain that broccoli raw. Put 
put it in the strainer, take all that, all of that water off there. Meanwhile, this our dinner. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I have I have the butter and garlic in here. I'm gonna add just a little bit of um, crushed red because it goes there. My baby always cook us great, fabulous dinners. I just don't know. Mm. This shrimp is good. I'm gonna hit this just with a little tiny. My wife hate hot peppers, but I'm just gonna hit a little pinch. When I say a pinch, I mean a little pinch. A crushed red because it goes in broccoli rod. I don't know why, but it does. That goes with that uh, butter and garlic. Get that little flavor into there. And as that begin to get heated up where it need to be, I'm gonna show you what the end of this is gonna look like. Can I see My wife eating up all the shrimp. Yes, the day is good. <laughs> I'm gonna eat all the shrimp before the meal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm wait. Mm, mm. See, yeah, that's what somebody wanted. Somebody wanted to taste that. Well, I'm going to grab another one. Because <laughs> I got to make up for the one that failed. Mm, mm, mm. Exactly. Mm. 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 All right, and here I come. I'm gonna, um, as you can see, the butter with a little bit of um, gar um, um, minced garlic, a little bit of crushed um, pepper seeds is in there. And I'm going to take that broccoli rob. It's already been drained, somewhat, um, it's been blanched and drained. Pop that in there, hit that with a little bit of this paint. Himalaya salt. Himalaya salt. That's what I'm eating. A pinch of black pepper. And that's all she wrote. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that in that butter and oil, into that butter and garlic. Nice, leafy, and healthy um, vegetable here, broccoli rod. If you haven't seen it before, that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to let that go ahead on and simmer for a couple seconds. And it's already done because it's already been blanched. It's been blanched. And now it's been slightly sauteed in. And now I'm going to put together a dish so that you can see what it all looks like. Shut the fire off your rice and off the broccoli rod. I'm going to grab a plate. I'm going to take a scoop of this. some of them prawns on that plate. And there you have it. That is the finished plate. And I'm going to give that to my wife so she can try it. I'm bringing my lovely place. So this is everything. How'd it look? Look at that. Mm. I'm getting ready. He gave me two, four, five shrimps and already ate one, two, three, four. Woo, tell ya. But thanks for watching. Enjoy this meal. Eat yours because I'm going to eat mine.